How you doing, everybody? Uh, let's get our two first uh, head of the families up. Let's go over here. Two, two gentlemen, let's stand up right here, right here. All right, you guys uh, know the rules of this game, right? Uh, you're going to put your hands behind your back. I'm going to answer a question. First one to tap my hand is going to be able to answer first. We polled 200 people in my chat. In my chat, we took the top 100 answers. Oh, oh. Okay. We polled 200 people in my chat. We took the top 100 answers. All right. We got the top five. We got the, we got, sorry. We got the top five answers out of 100. I'm short. I'm short. It's just how it is, guys. All right. We got the top five answers on the board. Gentlemen, first one to tap my hand gets an answer first. What does Mario use to buy with all the coins he collects? Oh, sorry, what does Mario buy with all the coins he collects? Mushrooms. It's a good one. Uh, show me mushrooms. Uh, Barb, Barb, what does Mario use? Or what does Mario buy with all the coins he collects? Stars. Stars. Do I see stars? <laughs> <laughs> sit down, sit down, gentlemen. Sit down, sit down. We got to go to the next family. We got to see someone to play. Now, this is uh, Team Canada, correct? Team Canada, right? Yeah, that is, that's correct there. What's your name, sir? That's My name's uh, Canada Mick. Canada Mick, Canada Mick. What does Mario buy with all the coins he collects? Uh, I think I'm going to say uh, someone ups there. Oh. One ups, one ups. Can I see one ups? Boom. Would you guys like to play or pass? Player pass. What are you guys saying? What are you going to play? What are we going to play? They're going to play. They're going to play. They're going to play right here, right here. Team Canada going to play. Watch the mic. Oh, watch the mic. Sorry, I'm bumping the mic. Sir, what is your name? My name is Dekula. 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 What does Mario buy with all the coins he collects? I'm going to say fire flowers. Fire flowers. Is that a good answer? Survey says. <laughs> Tough. You know, I think these are a lot of things Mario gets for free right here. You guys are looking for. Don't help him. Don't help him. Miss, what is your name? Uh, Canada Fiend. <laughs> original. Y'all, y'all have very original names. Over in Canada, it is. What does Mario buy with all the coins he collects? Princesses. Show us princesses. You can't buy. That's wrong. I don't know. The judges might have put number. I think we're gonna give that. I think we're actually gonna give number four for that one. <laughs> Strippers. One, one, it's yeah. just going to go to one strike. That's okay. <laughs> Sir, what is your name? This is a dirty, Canada dirty. Mitch. <laughs> Canada Mitch. You guys, all, you guys are all related, I see. Yeah, we're family. We you guys are all related. <laughs> Canada Mitch, you familiar with Mario? Yes. Yeah? That's awesome. If you were rich, like Mario, what does Mario use to buy all his coins? Or what does Mario buy with all those coins he uses? <laughs> uh, golden mushrooms. Are they already? Good answer. Good answer. He said it. He said it. You gotta play. Good answer. It. You gotta play it. That's how we Did, talking. We didn't see mushrooms. Do I see golden mushrooms? <laughs> uh, that's gonna be the two X's. We already showed you that other X. All right, coming back over, sir. What was your name? I'm Canada Paco. Canada Paco. <laughs> Y'all aren't very original in Canada, are you? We're sorry. All right. What? Canada Paco. What does Mario buy with all the coins he gets? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Consoles. Oh, bad answer. Good. Yeah. answer there, eh? Good answer. Hold on. Yeah. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Do I see consoles? No. no. All right, we got a chance to steal over here. Uh, Team Flim Flam, correct? Team Flim Flam. That is correct. What's your name? Oh, you guys got a chance to steal. You can confer on your answer right here. We just need one answer. Yeah, we, we know. You yeah, think we you know? know? Yeah. All right, what, who's going to be? Who's going to? 
What is your answer, Team Flim Flam? Drugs. <laughs> and this is pulling my chat. <laughs> Survey, show me drugs. Yeah. Our number one answer. Oh, uh, going on. Let's see what our number two answer was. That's when you guys go, hat. Oh, Show me our number five answer. Mustache. Mustache wax. That's right. That's right. Seven people. All right. Yes, all the points are going over. 25 points over to Team Flim Flam. All right. Our next two contestants, give me Tofu. Give me Canada Mickey. Hey, so, uh, thanks so much, AJ. All right, we're going we're gonna to load up our second question here. Now you got to hit next question and then load up. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. This is new. We've got new software going right now. You're doing a great job there. Thank you. Again, um, we polled 200 members in our chat. We took the top 100 answers as they added up. We have five answers for our next question. There we go. Thanks, guys. Canada Mick versus Noble Tofu. It's Francis. My name is Fred. <laughs> Fred, sorry, Fred. <laughs> We're gonna go for a rip after. What is? Of course, bud. Yeah, bud. Yeah. What is something Donkey Kong does that you wouldn't want your roommate to do? Fred, leave around banana peels. Do I see leave around banana peels? <laughs> Canada Mick, this is your chance. I'm going to say uh, bring home ladies. Does he bring home the ladies, survey says? <laughs> sit down, sit down, gentlemen. All right, all right, all right. All right, we need an answer. We need an answer. What does Donkey Kong do? Sir, what's your name first? Uh, Flynn. Flynn Flam. Flynn Flam. Flynn Flam. I think both of y'all teams need to talk to your parents. That's all I'm saying. We are our own parents. What? <laughs> That's some otherworldly Game of Thrones stuff. What is something that Donkey Kong does that you wouldn't want your roommate to do? Throw his poo. <laughs> have, you, have you played Donkey Kong? Do I see throw his poo? <laughs> All right, uh, Day Kula. Wait, they're going back. What is something Donkey Kong? You gotta, you gotta go do three oh. strikes over there. No, no, no. They don't get to play. We haven't even. You, no one's got it right yet. <laughs> no one's got it right yet. No one's got the player pass yet. They said come back over. They said come back over. What's up? They said no, no. No one's got the player pass yet. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Very sorry. We haven't got any of the answers yet. Canada. Calm down. Canada, it's okay. Don't worry. Day Kula, what is something Donkey Kong does that you wouldn't want your roommate to do? I'm going to say hoard bananas. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Uh, Donkey Kong does hoard bananas. Survey says? What? All right. Would you guys like to play or pass? We're going to play. We're going to play. We're going to play. All right. We do have time for a quick donation. And this is with regards to the last round. That's why it was so urgent. Amethyst Raindrop says, I'm just really amused by the top answer. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amethyst. We appreciate that. You guys, Not bad. I, I was really amused when I was filling out or, you know, like looking at the polls. I was like, no way is there going to be more than one drug. There was 46 people that answered drugs. <laughs> All right. Canada, Canada Fiend. What is something Donkey Kong does? That you would not want your roommate to do? Ride ostriches. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. We do that. Show me riding ostriches. Uh, oh. That's a good answer. Good. I mean, I tell you right now, I would not want my roommate riding ostriches as a hobby or otherwise. 
Hand it to Mitch. What is something that Donkey Kong does that you wouldn't want your roommate to do? Let's throw some barrels. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I, I tell you right now, barrels being thrown in my house is not something I want. This is all fixed by roommate. Survey says... Number two answer, 25 points. Canada Paco, you guys are getting some questions right. Can you keep that streak going? Are you familiar with Donkey Kong, sir? Uh, quite familiar there, hey? Quite familiar there. Hey, they have Donkey Kong up in Canada? Ah, uh, yeah, we've got, we've got the Donkey Kong. We've got uh, the Marios, uh, the Sonics. Even the Sonics. What is something that Donkey Kong does that you would not want your roommate to do, Canada Paco? You know what I'd be real cheesed at there, Pooh? What? What is that? If Donkey Kong stole my girlfriend. <laughs> that's, that is a good answer. Show me stealing my girlfriend. Oh. Yo, that was a good answer, though. I'm sorry, chat. Y'all failed on that one. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Y'all failed on that one. Canada Mick. Yeah. Pressure's on. Two strikes. You guys need three more answers All right, for I the sweep. I, uh, I hope I can do a good one for you here. Name something that Donkey Kong does that you would not want your roommates to do. You know, I had a roommate once who, uh, he practices rap music a little too loudly. I'm going to say practice his rap. That was you. Okay. Good answer. Good it was answer. Like, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. Show me playing music. Whoa. That's, that's a little too loud. <laughs> Good no. answer. Good 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 answer. I have a morning talk show too. I don't need this. We got foot flaps. Stay cool. What is something that Donkey Kong does that you would not want your roommate to do? I'm going to say a bunch of crocodiles. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good, good answer. I don't know. I mean, if there was a crocodile around, I'd sure want my roommate to punch it over me. Show me punching crocodiles. Uh, Team Flim Flam. Team Flim Flam, you can confer amongst yourselves. We got it. Yeah. Easy. Team Flim Flam. What, what is. Uh, not wear pants. Oh, that's a good answer. That's a really good answer. I tell you right now, that's something I definitely require from everyone I live with. Show me not wear pants. That is the steal right there for Team Flim Flam. What was our number four answer? Not wrapped. Ground pound. Oh, that's right. Oh. I need two more players right here coming up. All answers are worth triple in this round. Still anybody's game. We pulled 200 members of our chat. We took the top 100. We have five answers up on the board right now. Gentlemen, they name a room that's in Bowser's airship. <laughs> bedroom. Show me bedroom. Moving on, moving on, moving on. You guys have not been good at this face-off so far. All right. For the chance to pass or play. <laughs> Canada Fiend, name a room on Bowser's airship. The bathroom. Good answer. Everybody got it. Good answer. Everybody you need a bathroom, right? Show me bathroom. It's an airship. You got the window. Show me bat. Eh. Bowser's got to use some facilities. What's your name, sir? I'm Frank. Frank and Fred and Flynn. Flynn. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure. Name a room on Bowser's airship. Throne room. Oh. Hey, good, good, answer. Answer. Good, answer. good answer. Good answer. Do I see the throne room? No. Going back here. Canada Mitch. Canada Mitch. Name a room on Bowser's airship. Kitchen. Boss room. Damn, boss. The boss room. Good answer. Good answer. Oh, that's good. Survey says. Would you guys like to play or pass? Play or pass? Hold on. Play? I, I think. 
Maybe we should pass and count that they're not gonna get them, and then we get one at the end and we steal it. That's a good plan. Awesome, good play. Good play. Good play. Good play. You going pass? Go and pass? You know what? You know what? They knew. They knew order has not gotten to answer their questions and being the wonderful Canadians they are. They're gonna sorry. go over yeah, and pass. Sorry about sorry. that. Sorry, sorry, sorry for hogging all the all the games there. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Uh, flam, flim, flim, flam. <laughs> flam, flim, flim, flam. That's his first name. That's your first. That's his first name. All right, all right. Flam, flim, flim, flam. Name a room on Bowser's airship. I'm gonna say the control room. Oh. Control room. Good answer. Good answer. That's a bad answer. Do you have control room? Survey says. Good answer. Good answer. No control room. Sir, we did not get a, a chance to uh, get your name. What is your name, sir? Francisco. Francis. <laughs> Francisco Flim Flam. Familiar with Bowser? Somewhat. His airships? Somewhat. Yeah. Name a room on Bowser's airships. The cockpit. <laughs> That's a bedroom. Would, That's a would bedroom. that not be the control room? Yeah. I'll give you. I'll give you another one. Since it, would that not be the control room? I'll give you another yeah, one. Yeah. That's the bedroom too. Yeah. Uh, the poop deck. Good It's a pirate ship. It's a pirate ship. Show me poop deck. Your number three answer. Number three answer with 15. Frank or Fred? Fred Flim Flam. Fred Flim Flam. Name a room on Bowser's airship. You know, I bet you he got treasure in the treasure room. Oh, oh, a treasure room. A treasure room. You got to keep all those winnings to pay your crew. Treasure room survey says. Uh, oh, you hate to see that. Happen. You hate to see it. Pressure's on. You don't like to see that. Happen. Team Flim Flam, you need to answer three more questions. If not, <laughs> Team Canada will have the chance to steal and win. Name a room on Bowser's airship. Uh, the storage room. The storage room. <laughs> Do you guys think that's a good answer? It's a flip flam answer. Flip <laughs> flam. <laughs> Show me storage room. Yeah. Cannonball storage room. Yeah. Our wow. number five answer. We're still looking for the number one answer, the number four answer. Rounding up on that one, man. Yeah. Frank. You got two more, and you can take home the win. Head to Final Family Food. Frank, name a room on Bowser's airship. Bowser's a big guy. He's got to eat. So he's got to have a kitchen. <laughs> kitchen. He's got to eat, right? Have you ever seen Bowser eat anything, ever? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> no. Family show! No. This is syndicated! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Good answer. Show me... Answer. Show me kitchen! Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh! It was a good answer. Yeah. Right here. We have an opportunity. We have an opportunity to steal. Team Canada. Team Canada. Need an answer. We need an answer. Team Canada. Team Canada. Um, you know, when I'm on the go and uh, in my airship, I always need to take a stop or two in my engine room. So I'm going to say engine room. Engine room. You know what? This is a flying airship. Flying airship. Something, something's got to fly it. Show me engine. Ah. Team Flip Flam is going to be heading to Final Family Feud. What was our number one answer? Sex dungeon. Sex torture room. Show me, show me our number four answer. Peach Shrine Room. A Peach Shrine Room. Hey, 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 that's how it works. I need two players to play Final, uh, Final Family Feud with me. I need two players, two players to play Final Family Feud with me. Fast money, fast money. This is what it comes down to, fast money. Who's playing? It's two, okay, one of you is going to have to go deep outside. Deep outside. Go into the, go into the desert. desert. I don't think you got a fleet there. No. Okay. okay. There's three people in the sun. We get $33,000 for the We got to say happy birthday. Okay, right now while we got a break, 
We all got to sing happy birthday to order as it's his birthday today. We just hit $33,000. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear order. Happy birthday to you. And that being said, we have $25 from NSF who says, I laugh. Thanks, Anderson. Yeah, thank you all very much for that touching rendition of the all-time classic Happy Birthday. <laughs> but I regret to inform you that it's actually not my birthday. Good oh, good <laughs> Show me not her. All right. Uh, Flynn, right? No, Frank. Frank. Frank, you know how fast money works? Yep. All right. Give me the money. You're going to have 25 seconds, but really we're going to give you a little extra time because I'm not going to be able to read all these questions in 25 seconds. I'm going to ask you five questions. You're going to give me your best answer for these five questions. Oh, boy. All right. The timer will start once I read the first question. Name something that every bad Mario Maker level has. Troll doors. What would Bowser bring you for a housewarming gift? Mushrooms. Besides a plumber, what is another job Mario does? Builder. Name something that Peach puts on before a date. Frown. Name a sport that Mario is not good at. Football. He got it in. He got it in. All right, right there. Right there. Yeah, the Bowser's woman there. All right. Yeah. Oh, these are in the right order. It's not in the right order? Sure. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. We flip slammed it. So sorry. <laughs> Name something that every bad Mario Maker level has. That's the one we're looking for. Sorry. No, no. I, oh, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. No, this is still fine. Um, do we have any more donations going on? By the way, this is a charity event. We are raising money for direct relief. Read us some donations, announcer lady. We are good for now. However, I what? do want to remind people that if we do hit thirty-four thousand dollars, we're charged still has to eat a taco by the end of the night. Oh, so. God. Those Just tacos. As a quick reminder. Those tacos are very cold right now. Thirty-five, by the way, is a poker face. And thirty-five K, thirty-five K, we will do a group rendition led by Glitch Cat of Poker Face by Lady Gaga. Uh, <laughs> I'm so, very excited about that. Keep those donations coming in, though. If keep you those, see those donations coming in. Incentives. Yes. Uh, second question. Sorry. What would Bowser bring you for a housewarming gift? Okay. They should be in order from there. I count it. Yeah, I would count that one. Okay. I'll count that one. Yeah. Yeah. Got them. All right. They need it. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no. Cheese. Oh yes, who's chat? We're good. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see how. Let's see how Frank did. Our first question. Here, stand, up, stand back up here with me, sir. Uh, name something every bad Mario Maker level has. You said tra trap doors. Uh, survey said. Mm. Wow. You're wrong. <laughs> what would Bowser? What would Bowser bring you for a housewarming gift? You said. Survey said. Nice. Besides a plumber, what's another job Mario has? You said. Survey said. Oof. Name something that Peach puts on a date before a date. You said. Brown. Survey said. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Okay. All right. Name a sport that Mario is not good at. You said. Football. Survey said. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right. We need to grab Noble Tofu back. Where is Noble Tofu? Can someone grab him from outside? Someone grab Flynn. They say he's still wandering to this day. I want to give a big shout out to the production crew. This is actually like taking like 20 people to do right here back here. 20 people to do on the production right back here. Big shout out. We really, we really wanted to step our game up for Family Feud this year. Yeah, that's not Tofu. He's coming. He's coming. Well, you call him Tofu. Hey, his name's... Frank. 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 Fred. 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 You need a hundred and twenty-four points to take home the mythical fifty-thousand-dollar prize oh, oh, that 
doesn't exist. Oh. $50,000 in internet money. Uh. You know how fast money works? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, you're going to give an answer. If your uh, teammate already answered it, we'll buzz you. We'll at least give you a chance to answer all five questions. You can pass, but don't because you won't have enough time. Um, the timer will start after I read the first question. How long do I have? Um, doesn't matter. We'll let you get all five questions. Don't worry. You ready? That's fair. Timer will start. <laughs> Name something that every bad Mario Maker level has. Kaiser Walk. What would, bring, or what would Bowser bring you for a housewarming gift? Besides plumber, what is another job Mario does? Skip. Name something that Peach puts on before a date. Lingerie. Name a sport Mario's not good at. Karate. <laughs> Name a wait, wait. Besides a plumber, what is another job Mario does? The chance that. <laughs> another job that Mario has besides plumber. <laughs> A superhero? <laughs> what are you And five was karate. That sound <laughs> karate was really good. <laughs> so many other ones. They're all good answers. Good answers, there. I think I'm a bad What? What? Karate. Superhero. Superhero. Karate. <laughs> friendship. <laughs> there is a literal game yeah. where Mario is in an entire other profession. <laughs> Two of them, in fact. And he said, superhero. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Doctors are superheroes. All right? Let me just say that right now. All doctors are superheroes. <laughs> oh, I, I, saved, I saved it. All right, all right. Cr crowd, calm down, calm down, calm down. All right, here we go. Let's get it. You need 124 points. 124 points for the win. Name something that everybody at Mario Maker level has. You said, Kaizo Block. Survey said... 16. Naked Pipe was our number one answer. Naked Pipe. Pick a Pipe uh, was two. Blind Jumps four. Enemy Spam five. Naked Pipe. Naked Pipe. Uh, our second question. What would Browser bring you for a housewarming gift? You said cake. <laughs> Survey said Piranha Plant, our number one answer was 62. ba -bomb number two. Mushroom number three. Besides Plumber, what is another job Mario does? You said... Doctor. He's a doctor. <laughs> Superhero. <laughs> what game was that where Mario was a superhero? Dr. Mario. Every game. Okay. <laughs> Survey said? Zero. Doctor was number one. Athlete number two. Actor stripper number four. <laughs> I, gu I guess he wasn't a stripper at any game either, but there we go. <laughs> Name something that Pete puts on it before a date. You said? Lingerie. <laughs> Survey said? <laughs> Dress was number one, makeup number three, wig number five. Does she wear a wig? I'm with you. Lingerie. Got the lingerie. Excuse me, that was my answer. The lingerie. All right, you need. Right now, you need 98 points to get this answer. Name a sport that Mario is not good at. You said karate. Survey said uh, hockey was your number one answer. You guys win nothing. I need two more teams. All right, we're going to get two more families coming up in just a second. All right, it's round two live from Las Vegas. It's Family Feud starring Grand Pooh Bear. All right, Family Feud coming up. We got our second game of the night. We need our heads of our family standing up right here. Standing up, heads of our family. Heads of our family. Heads of our family. Come on over here. Gentlemen, you know how this works. We pulled 200 people in our chat. We took the top 100 answers. We got five answers from that. Name something Toad keeps under his hat. Uh, a bandana. Bandana survey says uh, like a do rag, right? You know, like a, like a, okay. Do you got an answer? A wig. A wig. Do I see wig? 
All right, we're going to have to go to these, uh, the, next, the next family members. Sir, what is your name? Tim. Tim. Name something that Toad keeps under his hat. His head. <laughs> um, show me his head. We'll go with it. His hair. We'll go with it. Judges gave it to you. Judges, would you like to play or pass, guys? We'll play. We'll play. We'll play. We'll play. All right. All right. Come right over. What's your name, sir? Failsmas. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> name something that... Did your mama name you that? <laughs> yes, she did. Did y'all come from a hippie family, right? Name something that Toad keeps under his hat. Uh, mm, secrets. <laughs> secrets. Secrets. Survey says... <laughs> Sir, what is your name? Fluffy. Fluffy. I like it. Uh, Fluffy, name something that Toad keeps under his hat. Drugs. He's already a mushroom, y'all. <laughs> Show me drugs. Our number one answer. Again, this was my chat. We, <laughs> we pulled for these. Sir, what is your name? Uh, Kramer. Kramer. Name something that Toad keeps under his hat. Uh, coins. Coins. Coins, right? You got to put your coins somewhere. Where else would he put them except for under his hat? Show me coins. Oh, my gosh. Do we have time? Do we have an interruption right now? Yes. It's, it's a good one. Okay. Amethyst Raindrops just donated $1,000. Good answer. Good answer. Good All right, answer. so Amethyst Raindrop says, I like that from watching this. I'm now more afraid of Twitch chat. And also now we are at $34,000. And speaking of Twitch chat, I'm so sorry, Arthur. You have to eat a taco. Order does have to eat a taco sexually. Coming up, I don't know where he's at, but we'll, we will get you that taco. <laughs> Thank you, Amethyst. <laughs> and also... <laughs> Also, to go with that, Shadowheart321 donates 40 bucks saying this one's for you, bald man. And now quite literally. Yeah, literally. <laughs> uh, we got a hot taco coming up. Name something that Toad keeps under his hat, Tom. Uh, I'm going to say power-ups. Power-ups. <laughs> that makes sense. Show me power-ups. <laughs> oh, that's going to be your chance to steal. What's your team name? What's your team name? Uh, team. The cool team. Cool team. Cool team. <laughs> You guys got. You guys can converse amongst yourself. Name something that Toad keeps under his hat. <laughs> All right, we're gonna need an answer. We're gonna need an answer. Name something that Toad keeps under his hat. Uh, we got all we got. We got nudes. Nudes? His nudes? Peach's nudes? Whose nudes are these? I mean, uh, him and Toadette, they have a thing. <laughs> Super MC, show me nudes. <laughs> That's going to go over here to our team. I forgot what your guys' name was. Kazizo. Team Kazizo. Our number three answer was... Snap. Oh. Our number four answer, something Toad keeps under his hat. Small. Small. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till you see our number five answer. Condoms. Y'all, Toad practices safe sex. Toad practices safe sex. Yo, 
I'll tell you right now. When, when, <laughs> 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 Yo, just <laughs> cover up your mushroom head. That's all I'm saying. You know, like, <laughs> I need two more family members. I need two more family members. <laughs> No, this is not a family show right now. I can't breathe. This is dysfunctional family. Okay. All right. What does? Wait, we got our top five answers again. You guys know the deal. Hundred points on the board. Two hundred people pulled. What does Luigi do while Mario is saving the princess? I think. Yeah. Okay. Good answer, good answer. Survey, show me, take a nap. <laughs> what is your answer? What does Luigi do while Mario is saving the princess? Taking Peach on a date. Oh! <laughs> We're going to have to go to our judge. Taking Peach on a date. <laughs> that was a good answer. That was a good answer. Here's the problem with that is that Mario's saving Peach. So... He can't really take her on a date. That's right. Confidence. Uh, what does Luigi do when Mario is saving Peach? He's doing drugs. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Show me doing drugs. Oh. Uh. All right, what does, <laughs> what's your name, sir? Uh, rum scotch. Rum scotch. <laughs> what does Luigi do while Mario is saving Peach? Uh, he's hunting ghosts. Oh, hunting ghosts. Whoa. Okay. We, uh, can we get our five answers on the board again? They're, they, I don't know, they disappeared. Okay, show me the five answers. Okay, now show me fighting ghosts. Yeah! Would you guys like to play or pass? We'll play, we'll play, we'll play. All right. What is your name, sir? Rod. All the names in the world. Rob. Rob, what does Luigi do while Mario is saving Princess Peach? Let's be real. He's pleasuring himself. I mean, he's got the house alone. He lights a few candles. I think that says a lot more about you, Rob, than it does about Luigi, but show me pleasuring himself. <laughs> Please don't show me that. This is late night family feud right now. Oh, by the way, we got our sexual taco before Fast Money. <laughs> Sir, what's your name? Uh, my name's Bobby Bob Bob. <laughs> Bobby Bob Bob. What does Luigi do while Mario is saving Princess Peach? Uh, I think he, like, writes in a journal about how much he likes Mario. <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> Show me journaling. <laughs> hey, uh, I mean, this is just how it is. Twitch chat, Twitch chat was pulled. Blame them. Miss, what is your name? Rainy day. Rainy day? Rainy day. Rainy day? <laughs> what does Luigi do while Mario is saving Peach? Collecting coins. Collecting, getting rich. Getting that money. Getting that money. Show me collecting coins. We got four answers. This is your chance to steal. Team, I don't remember what your name was. This is your chance to steal. Kazizzo. I like, like Lizzo. Uh, what does Luigi do while Mario is saving Peach? You can confirm amongst yourselves. I'll give you a little chance. Maybe. 
Y'all, they answered drugs. I'm just saying. <laughs> this man answered masturbation. What is your answer? I'm going to say Daisy. <laughs> Do you think Luigi does Daisy while Mario's out saving Peach? Yes. Show me doing Daisy. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Bo's Daisy. Our team steals it. They get another 34 points over here. What was our number two answer? This is a little blue. <laughs> don't worry well, well, don't worry about the points whoever wins game three is going to win because <laughs> it's worth triple <laughs> no it's our number two answer show me our number four answer and what was our number five answer You know, I think that could have gone with masturbating, actually. I think that could have gone with masturbating. Oh, man. Oh, my God. And everyone just laughs at that. I need two more points. We're going into round three. Points are tripled in round three coming up, ladies and gentlemen. We need two more players coming up. Two more players. Real quick, Pooh. Oh, he Pooh. said masturbating. <laughs> yeah. Just want to get a train started here. Tay000 donates $10 saying, Someone join me for the $10 dono train while Aura eats a taco. The $10 Aura eats a taco train. He ate it. <laughs> Again, don't forget, guys, $35,000. We're singing Lady Gaga's Poker Face. Gentlemen, we got our top five answers on the board. <clears throat> We're going to flip it up a little bit. Uh, Name something that Peach does while waiting to be saved by Mario. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh God. <laughs> Again, Peach is in the clutches of Bowser during this time. Really? What is your answer, sir? She tries to escape. Yeah. Good answer. Oh, good answer. Good answer. Name something Peach does. Show me tries to escape. <laughs> Your answer, name something Peach does while waiting to be saved by Mario. Bowser. Oh! Good answer. A little Stockholm Syndrome thing I'm seeing right there. Show me Bowser. Dang. Our number two answer right there. Peach be getting it from Bowser. I thought they would be funny. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, we're in. We're good. You guys want to play or pass? We should play it. Yeah, yeah. We should play it. We should play it. Oh. You know, let's try We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Sorry, a little technical difficulty. Um, Fluffy. <laughs> Name something that Peach does while waiting to be saved by Mario. Drugs. <laughs> Y'all, not everyone's doing drugs in the Mushroom Kingdom, though. <laughs> not everyone can. She's captured. She's a prisoner. Where is she getting these drugs? Medical medicine. Show me drugs. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Name something that Peach does while waiting to be saved by Mario. Luigi. <laughs> She's in Bowser's clutches. Show me Luigi. No. Uh, that's a good answer. How's he getting in there? Why wouldn't he just save her if he's in there? Like he's, he's there. He's got all the abilities Mario's got. Just wears green. <laughs> Sir, name something that Peach does while waiting to be saved by Mario. Her hair. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. You know what? She's waiting to be saved. She wants to look her best. Show me her hair. Uh, that's not on there? Yeah. No. Oh, it's the top four. Okay, you're right. Okay, sorry. 
<laughs> we got a chance to steal over here. Right. A chance to steal. This is going to be for all the marbles, too, despite the nan that it says. <laughs> Prizes or things are tripled. This is very important. Confer amongst yourselves. Name something that Peach does while waiting to be saved by Mario. Yeah, let's go for it. Um, she's writing a letter. Writing a letter. Good. Oh, good. Good answer. Good answer. I mean, good if you know the lore, she is never, she doesn't get, you know, captured until World 8, and then Bowser writes the letter, but, okay. <laughs> Show me writing a letter. Uh, this team over here is going to win it. Woo! What was our number one answer right there? Sleep. Sleep. What was our number three answer? <laughs> yeah, that's actually pretty good. That's a good answer, really. Right. Our number four answer. <laughs> the whole time. She poops. The whole time. I need two players for fast money. I need two players for fast money right now. Pick amongst yourselves. While they're doing this real quick, we have a $20 donation from that we had that says, Mario may have never been a superhero, but each and every one of you is. Keep up the great work for a great cause. John Tyler donates $5 saying, marbles, 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 marbles. Marbles. Captain Poopy Shoes donates ten dollars, saying that background taco nom was hilarious. All right. Churro Bear donates ten dollars, saying loving this game show and your hearts for charity. Can't wait to hear y'all sing. This is so much fun, by the way. <laughs> I'm so glad. Thank you, Chad. We got fast money. It's all right. Sound guy is on one today. <laughs> We're getting lit in here. All right, you know how fast money works. Yeah. You'll have a certain amount of time. We'll let you get all five questions, though, because, like, who, who cares about time? Um, speak loudly if you're answering. Speak very loudly if you're answering so our judges can hear it. Okay. Time will start after I read the first question. Um, oh, wait, sorry. Sorry. That's actually our second question I said. This was going to be our first question. I went on top. Oh, my gosh. We have time for a quick donation. Yes, we do have time for a quick donation. We have a five hundred dollar donation Woo! from the Cobalt Inn, <laughs> and this is directed at Pooh. All right, this is this is for Pooh directly. Cobalt Inn says Pooh needs to work on his Steve Harvey impressions. <laughs> we all know that's what sells Family Feud. And on that note as well, Play five hundred dollars from Amethyst Raindrops Woo! as well. <laughs> Who says this is just me saying hi to Cloudy? <laughs> that um, that's oh. gonna put us, I believe, over. That we are currently at thirty-five thousand four hundred and twenty-three dollars. Damn! <laughs> Y'all, once Family Feud is over, we oh are gonna get goodness. an amazing rendition of Lady Gaga. <laughs> um, all right, we got five questions right here. Are you ready? I'm ready. Time will start after I read the first question. Name a Mario character you wouldn't want your partner to compare you to. Waluigi. <laughs> Name a way to kill a Yoshi. Uh, in lava. Oh, oh, sorry, they stuck. Name a food that Link would bring to a potluck. Uh, skewers. Name a character that parents think are in Mario but isn't. Donkey Kong. <laughs> Name something Yoshi might be used for. Uh, food. <laughs> <laughs> All right, stay up here. Stay up here. Stay up here. Stay up here. Hey, when you're hungry. I mean, I tell you right now, I there's a lot of them around. I would never eat a Yoshi. 
<laughs> there's never, there's so a lot of room. We'll have to go to our judges. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're just getting our judges to make sure we're conferring on this. Um, again, yeah, I believe we actually have a new incentive to announce, by the way. At $40,000, we're going to have a competition between Glitch Cat, who will be performing as many mid airs as he can in Super Chefy World in five minutes. Versus the team of Laser Belch and X Water, who will be performing as many push ups as they can in five minutes. Wow. Whichever team gets the most will be declared winner. Also, they'll go shirtless. <laughs> the dudes will go shirtless. Sexually. Yes. Are we ready? Okay. Our first question Name a Mario character you wouldn't want your partner to compare you to. You said Waluigi. Uh, survey says. Our number one answer. Number one answer. Name a way to kill Yoshi. You said lava. Survey said 26. Our number two answer. Number two answer right there. Name a food that Link would bring to a potluck. You said skewers. When has Link ever done skewers? Uh, the Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. All right. Uh, survey said nothing. Sorry. Name a character that parents think are in Mario but isn't. You said... Donkey Kong. Survey says... 10. 10. All right, all right. Respectable. Name something that Yoshi might be used for. You said... Food. Food. Survey said... Oh. Oh. That's probably for the best, though, really. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. All right, let's bring in our other character, our other, our other player. Where, where's he at? Our other player out there in the woods. Oh, we're going to grab him. We're going to get him. Again, we got our, our $40,000 incentive just... I had to figure out what happened before. It's all good. I can't stop it if I ask We got our next character coming up. We're going to need a little bit of work from you, sir. You know how fast money works? Yes, I do. We're going to need 844 points, or 134 points. Sorry, my math is bad. Um, it can be done, though. There's a lot of big answers still left. All right. You know how this works? Yep. Yep. Timer's going to start as soon as I read the question, but don't worry about the time. We'll, we'll just let you get all five answers in. All right. Uh, all right. Let's go. Name a Mario character you wouldn't want your partner to compare you to. Uh, Wario. Name a way to kill Yoshi. Uh, lava. Eh. Uh, falling in a pit. Name a food that Link would bring to a potluck. Milk. Ooh. Name a character that parents think Mario or that is in Mario but isn't. Like, name a character parents think is in Mario, but isn't. Oh, uh, Sonic. <laughs> name something that Yoshi might be used for. Uh, riding. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> they need to add up to 200. Good answer. Name. No, wait, hold on. Give him a second. Give him a second. Give him a second. We got to get... We gotta get we gotta get our judges here. Sorry, we had a little a little confusion with our, our emails and, and things. Don't worry, we've got this under control. I'd like to give a big special shout out to to uh, my wife, Lady Pooh, who's actually watching this at home. She did like all the work on these fancy cards and everything else and the survey and like she killed it. Yeah, so shout out to Lady Pooh. Thank you so much. Hundred and thirty-four points. All right, let's go. Name a Mario character you wouldn't want your partner to compare you to. You said Wario. Survey said our number two answer. Number one, Waluigi. Number two, Wario. Uh, three, Luigi. Four, Toad. Five, Bowser. Uh, name a way to kill a Yoshi. You said Fall in the pit. Yes. Survey said fifty-one. Our number one answer. Number one answer. Name a food that Link would bring to a potluck. You said <laughs> milk. I thought this was a pretty good answer. Survey said uh, eh. chicken was number one. What? Dubious food number two. Uh, <laughs> apples number three. Dubious food. Name a character that parents think are in Mario but isn't. You said Sonic. Survey said our number one answer. 
Our number one answer, Zelda, Pikachu, Link, and Donkey Kong rounded it out. You need third or 23 points. 23 points for our last question. Name something Link does with his... Oh, wait, sorry. Name something that Yoshi might be used for. You said... Riding. Survey said... Oh. <laughs> Killing Sacrifice was number one with 57. Double Jump slash Yeeting was number two with 36. I should have went with Yeeting. Eating stuff was number three. Yeeting. We've got another game coming up, though. In just a few seconds, we're going to get two more teams right up there. From the most dangerous city in the world, Grand Pooh Bear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to play the feud one more game. We need two players right up here, right up here in the front. All right, all Good right. Good answer. <laughs> haven't answered yet. Haven't answered yet. All right, we have our top five answers on the board right now. No, you got numbers on the board. First one to clap my hand gets the answer. <laughs> Where in Hyrule would you want to party the most? Noble Tofu. Kakriko Village. Show me Kakriko Village. Number four answer. You have an opportunity to seal it. Where in Hyrule would you want to party the most? Death Mountain. Show me Death Mountain. Our number two answer, would you, got, would you like to play or pass? We would like to play. They would like to play. They would like to play. Good answer, Good answer. but not Good answer. What's, your, what's your team name over here, y'all? Family name. We're, we're the Mad Lads. The Mad, the Mad Lads. Team Mad Lads over here. Team Mad Lads, what's your name, miss? My name is Boom Boom. Yeah. Boom Boom. I'm feeling a lot of name over here is going to be Boom Boom. Where in Hyrule would you want to party the most? Lon Lon Ranch. Lon Lon Ranch. I tell you right now, that's a good place to party. It's a little soft, though. Survey says... <laughs> Nobody wants to party in Lon Lon Ranch. Nobody wants to party in Lon Lon Ranch. Where in Hyrule would you... What's your name, sir? It's actually a symbol. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get a drawing for that later. <laughs> Where in Hyrule would you want to party the most? The Temple of Time. You know what? The Temple of Time is where you can party like it's 1999 every day. Show me Temple of Time. All right. All right. Sir, what is your name? Uh, I am also Boom Boom. <laughs> Make me say Wayo. Uh, where in Hyrule would you want to party the most? Ganon's Castle. Yeah. Good answer. Ganon's Castle. I think we're. I think we can. I'm gonna go to my judges on this one. I know our judges are big Zelda fans. We're gonna go to our judges on this one. Show me Ganon's Castle. <laughs> <laughs> We got a chance to steal over here. There's three answers, including our number one. You got a chance to steal. What's your team name over here? Flam Flam. Tam Flam Flim. Tam Flam Flim. Tam Flam Flim. Where? We need an answer. Where in Hyrule would you want to party the most? Hyrule Castle. Hyrule Castle. <laughs> yeah, I think I got that one. Show me Hyrule Castle. They steal 36 points over to Tam Team Flam Flim. All right. What was our number one answer? It's full of ladies, guys. It's full of ladies. They're dancing. Of course I want to party there. Our number five answer, Zora's Domain. It's a pool party. A pool party. Pool party, obviously. All right. We need two more players coming up for our next round, our next face-off. We have our top five answers on the board. Again, you guys know the deal by now. Getting their numbers. <clears throat> Name something that gets stuck in Mario's mustache. Whoa. I'm going to say spaghetti. <laughs> That's not it? That was not the question. <laughs> What's the question? Well, too late. Let's go with that one. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. Uh -oh. We've got to go with a different question. Got to go with a different question. That's okay. That's okay. You were just pulling a Steve Harvey. Yep. I just, yeah, Steve Harvey. My bad. 
<laughs> All right, new question. Name a food that Bowser eats for breakfast. That goes to her. Goombas. Show me Goombas. <laughs> what do you got? I'm going to say toads. Oh, that's a good answer. Show me toads. Sit down, sit down, sit down. All right. All right, what do we what do we got? Name a food that Bowser eats for breakfast. <laughs> she just said that. She just said it. Name a food that Bowser eats for breakfast. Drugs. <laughs> it's a good answer. It's a good answer. Good answer. Name a food that Bowser eats for breakfast. Uh, Yoshi's. Show me Yoshi's. Yoshi eggs, we got it. Who'd you guys like to play or pass? We're going to play over here. We're going to play over here. All right. Name a food that Bowser eats for breakfast. I'm going to say Mario's. 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 That's, that's a human. Show me Mario's. There's only one Mario? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Name a food that Bowser eats for breakfast. I'm going to have to say piranha plants. Piranha plants. He's a vegetarian. She's going with vegetarian. Show me piranha plants. Oh, my gosh. All right, what do we got over here? Symbol for a name. We need a food that Bowser eats for breakfast. I've heard that Bowser has a sweet tooth for peaches. I think that's a double entendre right there. Survey, show me peaches. Number one answer. Number one answer. Y'all nasty. Y'all nasty. We got three more answers. What does Bowser eat for breakfast? Lava. Good answer. Good answer. Lava. Show me lava. All right. We got our bottom three answers on the board. What does Bowser eat for breakfast for the steel? I just want to say, did I not say he had a kitchen and you all said he doesn't eat? <laughs> I, that was a different family, sir. I don't really can't really help you. On that. Yes. I'm just saying, my bro, my, my I need an answer. Not not any lip. We're saying cake. <laughs> That's a good answer. That's a good answer. I tell you right now, I eat cake for breakfast all the time. Show me cake. It's going over here. All right, what was our number three answer there? Turtle soup. What's our number four answer? And our number five answer? Duh. Yeah, that's just sensible. All right, we've got one more round coming up in this game for all the marbles. Give me two more players. Uh, we got a few donations here. Um, Camelos donated $10. Can we see Ara's legs? Is the only chance we will have to do it. Uh, Darth Rona donated. Hey there, Pooh, again, Pooh and crew. How much we, do we have to donate in order to get all of you to dab in the name of Director Leaf? I love you all, and thanks for all the you do. I'll see some of you at TwitchCon. Woo! Woo! And Uncle Ruby has donated $5. Kill the Yoshis. We got our top five answers on the board right now. We got our top five answers on the board. Gentlemen. Name something Link does in Hyrule that he would be arrested for in the real world. Smashes pots. Show me smashes pots on that survey. That's our number one answer. You want to play or pass? We're playing. We're playing. All right. All right. Hello. <laughs> Sir, what was your name? Ferdinand. Ferdinand Flamflim. Ferdinand Flamflim. What is something Link does that he would be arrested for in real life? Drugs. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. 
<laughs> he d- I mean, I will say a lot of his, a lot of the things he eats does alter his mind a bit. So, show me drugs. <laughs> you ever played The Legend of Zelda, sir? No. Not familiar with Link, then? I thought it was Zelda. What does Link do that he would be arrested for in real life? Trespassing. Oh, oh. Trespassing. He does go in a lot of houses. He does go in a lot of houses. Show me trespassing. Number, number five answer right there. No claps for you guys? It's, you're not excited about that? No, we said I was going to eat you guys five. Okay. We're looking for two. All right, all right. Well, looking for two. Name something that would get Link arrested in real life that he does constantly in Hyrule. He does a lot of killing. I'm going to say killing. Killing. He, you know what? He does do a lot of killing. A lot of killing. Oh, illegal, right? Good, answer. Good answer. Show me killing. Murder, our number three answer. <laughs> our number three answer. All right. Back to you, sir. Name something that Link does that he would be arrested for in real life. This is gonna, he's going to get arrested by time cops for traveling through time. Time travel. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. In real life. It's a video game. Real life. He's going to get arrested by time cops <laughs> for time traveling in real life. You don't know there's time cops in real life. You never obviously broken the time. Law. Show me time traveling. Yeah, come on. Oh. Uh, it seems like you're a lot of faith in your friends. <laughs> Name something that Link would be arrested for in real life. Twice. <laughs> Theft. Theft. That's, that's a good answer, right? Theft. He steals a lot of stuff. He just goes into people's houses, kicks open their chests, and steals it. Show me theft. Stealing. Our number four answer. One more answer, and you guys will be heading to fast money. Name something that Link would be arrested for in real life. Kidnapping. <laughs> oh. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Who does he kidnap? He never played the games. Fair. He never played the games. <laughs> Show me kidnapping. <laughs> no, we got a chance to steal right now. There is one answer left. This is for all the marbles. If you guys get this answer, you will be going to fast money. You're allowed to confer with your team. You're allowed to confer with your team. There's one answer left. I don't need any lip from you. That sounds like we had something. What is your answer right now? We're going to go with animal cruelty. Yeah, that's, it. that's a good answer. That's a good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Show me animal cruelty. Oh! Our team, Flam Flam, is going to be our winners. Flam Flam, Flam Flam. What was our number two answer? Breaking and entering. Trespassing. Trespassing is on the front lawn. Breaking and entering is inside the house. I don't need any lip, y'all. That's what has happened. I need two players for Fast Money. I need two players for Fast Money, preferably people who haven't done it yet. I'm going outside. To be fair, my friend. To be fair. If, if, if that was the same answer, they would have stopped the points anyway. So yes, it works out. Yeah. It works out. Okay. Hey, drugs. <laughs> All right. you, sir, what was your name again? Uh, fail. Wow, that's the second guy I've met with that name today. Yeah, he's my cousin. Oh, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of family y'all have? <laughs> Those are my uncle. Um, anyway, you're going to have five questions. You're going to have to give me five answers. Uh, time will start after I read the first question. How, many, how much time? It doesn't matter. Okay. I'll give you time to do it. 82 minutes. Um, name something Link does with his sword besides fighting. Oh. Um, bending. Name a video game your parents have played. Mario. Name, what color besides green does Link like to wear? Blue? 
Name a plant that grows in the mushroom kingdom. Piranha plant. Good answer, good answer, good answer. Good answer. All right. Good answer. Uh, no, don't worry about wait, it. Wait, one, <laughs> two, three. Oh, wait, wait, we got one more question, sorry. What was your first answer? Uh, it wasn't bending. It was, bending. It was better than bending. Okay. Sorry. Was, one more question. I apologize about that. Just answer drugs. N- name one of Link's professions besides warrior. Music player. Good one. Yeah. Good one. Yeah. Musician. Good one. Yeah. 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 Was on the spot. Okay. okay so we had name something or uh, name something Link does with his sword besides fighting. <laughs> name a video game your parents have played. What color besides green does Link like to wear? Name a plant that grows in the Mushroom Kingdom, and name one of Link's professions besides warrior. Meanwhile, do we got any donations to read right now? Uh, Maddie is nine donated ten dollars. Arter's birthday party confirmed. Happy birthday, Arter! Happy birthday! I'm gonna need you to stay up here with me, sir. Sure, sure, yeah. Uh, well, name a video game your parents have played. Got him? Good? Okay. All right, our first question. Uh, name something Link does with his sword besides fighting. You said bend, bending. Mm-hmm. Like, like sword, like the glass sword bender? Like, sure, yeah, that's it. He's an airbender, sir. Yeah. Anyway, uh, survey says. Yes. Mm. Good <laughs> name a video game your parents have played. You said Mario. Survey said. Not looking good for you, sir. What color besides green does Link like to wear? You said blue. Survey said 35. Our number one answer, actually. Our number one answer right there. Name a plant that grows in the mushroom kingdom. You said piranha plant. Survey said boom. Our number one answer right there. Name one of Link's professions beside warrior. You said musician. Survey said 28. Halfway there. We're going to need our other player in there. You want to grab him? Yeah. Yep. I thought it was golf. Again, we have one more game coming up. One more game right after this coming up, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm a little bummed because I'm pretty sure there's one set of questions I forgot to put in that's really funny. And I'm really bummed. So the next round might be only two sets of questions, but that's okay. What happened to your brother? Um... Did you get a, attacked while you were outside? He was nervous. Sunshine happened. He was nervous. <laughs> really nervous for this. Fast money. You only need 92 points. More than halfway there. Your, your, your teammate did his job. What's up? Okay. Um, you're going to have to speak very loud right now to make sure our hosts, our judges can hear your answers. You're going to have 25 seconds. We'll let you get all five answers in. The time will start after I start. Name something Link does with his sword besides fighting. Dancing. <laughs> Name a video game your parents have played. Mario? Yeah. Well, really only Mario. Zelda. <laughs> what color besides green does Link like to wear? Pink. Name a plant that grows in the Mushroom Kingdom. Piranha plant. Yeah. Creeper vine. Name one of Link's professions besides warrior. Carpenter. Okay. All right. Good, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Uh, we got a You need 92 from... points. 92 points right here. 92 we points. We got this. Well, then we're going to make sure we got everything going on. Uh, we got a Team donation Flam from Tina Flam. Hacks uh, for $10. Yeah. Looking gonna need forward to The Legend of Zelda points. Swordbender. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, this is your last chance. This is the last segment. We're going to have one more game after this and then the Lady Gaga song. Um, and that is going to be it for tonight. This is your last chance to get in for today's giveaway. Do not forget, we got tons of great prizes. Also, we do have our $40,000 incentive up. We could see those midairs and push-ups tonight, which would be hilarious. <laughs> Name something that Link does with his sword besides fighting. 
Are we good? Yeah. You said. Dancing. <laughs> yeah, I feel as bad about it as you do. <laughs> I hear it quite with it, too. Survey said. <laughs> Cutting grass was our number one answer. 66 responses. Cooking was number two. Name a video game your parents have played. You said. <laughs> Zelda. Survey said. <laughs> Pac-Man, Tetris, and Pong were literally the only three answers given out of 200 people. Yeah. Yep. What color besides green does Link like to wear? Pink. Survey said. That was our fifth answer with five. Uh, blue, brown, white, red, and then pink were the top answers. Dude, brown. He wears brown all the time, guys. Have you guys ever even played Zelda? My parents have. I only played the one thing. My parents have. Name a plant that grows in the Mushroom Kingdom. You said creeper vine. Survey said eight. Piranha plant number one, fire flower number four, mushroom number three. Uh, name one of Link's profession besides warrior. You need 79 points in this one. You said carpenter. Survey said landscaper was number one, delivery man three, chef four, thief five. That is going to be it. I need two more teams coming up. Two more teams right here. Coming in from Las Vegas, Grand Pooh Bear. I need two players right up here to play the Family Feud. I need two players right over here to play the Family Feud. All right. We, again, we pulled my chat. We got 200 responses. We took the top ones that lighted up to 100. We have five questions on the board, five answers on this board. Name a Twitch emote you wouldn't want your partner to describe your lovemaking with. Oh, God. Answer? Resident sleeper. <laughs> oh, good answer. Do I see a resident sleeper? Oh, that's that was a good answer. I'm sorry. That was a good answer. All right. What do you got? What face? <laughs> Show me what face. <laughs> All right. Keep in mind, this is my chat. So the more you know, you know more you know, the Mario memes is probably gonna help. Fluffy, what do you got? Who chats playing? <laughs> Poo chats playing. Poo chats playing. Show me Poo chats playing. <laughs> That's a good answer. That was a good answer. All right, what's your name, sir? Orator. <laughs> Orator, name a Twitch emote you wouldn't want your partner to describe your lovemaking with. It's gotta be Failfish. Show me Failfish. Are you kidding? What is it? What's your name, miss? My name is Inigo Montoya. Inigo. Inigo Montoya. Name a Twitch emote you wouldn't want your partner to describe your lovemaking with. Not like this. Not like this. Answer. Not like this. Answer. Show me not like this. Yeah. Boom. These guys like to play or pass? They're going to play. They're going to play. They're going to play. <laughs> All right, this is Team Canada 2, right? Another Canada? Uh, we're the family family. The family family. All right. <laughs> Team Other Canada. Name a Twitch emote you wouldn't want your partner to describe your lovemaking with. Dance game. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. That is a good game. Show me Dan's game. What's your name, sir? Trent. Trent. <laughs> kind of look like a Trent. <laughs> name a Twitch emote you wouldn't want your partner to describe your love making with. Forehead. <laughs> Show me forehead. Good answer. Sir, what is your name? Steph. <laughs> your mama named you Death? My dad wanted Dan and my dad wanted Jeff. <laughs> I good to know your parents like to compromise. Yeah, healthy relationship. Healthy relationship. You uh, familiar with making whoopee? Uh, once or twice. <laughs> Name a Twitch emote that you would not want your partner to describe about you after making whoopee. I think lull would fit. <laughs> Good answer. 
<laughs> Show me lol. We have our one, three, and five question or answers on the board. Sir, what is your name? Fluffy. Uh, fluffy. You know, I had a Fluffy just a show ago. It was kind of funny. Name a Twitch emote you wouldn't want your partner to describe your lovemaking with. We go with Jabated. <laughs> <laughs> These are so good. <laughs> show me Jabated. <laughs> All right. What's your team name, guys? The responsibles. The responsibles. The responsible. You got a chance to see uh, converse amongst yourself. Again, we pulled my chat. <laughs> Name a Twitch emote that you wouldn't want your partner to describe your love making with. We need an answer right here. Monka S. Monka S. I don't know, man. I kind of, I wouldn't mind. Eyes popping out of your head. Sweat dripping down your face. Thinks that, but it's not a Twitch emote. I'll give you guys another chance. It's a better Twitch TV emote. You need, you need, I'll give you guys one more chance because it's not a Twitch emote. Yeah. Yeah. Bible thump. Bible thump. <laughs> Bible thump. Bible thump. <laughs> that one definitely implies something different in my opinion. Show me Bible thump for the seal. What? Uh, All right. Name a Twitch emote you wouldn't want your partner to describe your lovemaking with. Our number one answer was. Kappa. How did we forget about that one? Uh, our number three answer. Barb toxic. And uh, finally, last but not least, our number five answer. Poo shame. All right, we've got. <laughs> I believe we have our last set of questions coming up, so this is going to take all the marbles. That round really didn't matter at all. We need two more players coming up here. We got Order and Fluffy. We took our top five answers from our chat. Where in Hyrule would Zelda most like to make love? Hyrule Castle. Hyrule Castle. Right at home. Show me Hyrule Castle. Survey says? Our number three answer. You're going to have an opportunity to keep the seal. Ooh. Fluffy, where in Hyrule would Zelda most like to make love? Oh, yeah. Lon Lon Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> Lon Lon Ranch. Things getting dirty over at Lon Lon Ranch. Show me Lon Lon Ranch. Our number one answer. Would you guys like to play or pass? Play? play. They'll play. They'll play. All right. All right. We got three questions left right here. Where in Hyrule would Zelda most like to make love, miss? Have you ever thought about this yourself, where you would most like to make love in Hyrule? No. <laughs> Something I think about every night. Where would Zelda most like to make love in Hyrule? Jabu Jabu's belly. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Just right in there. It's nice and warm. It's cozy. Get all in there. This is Jabu Jabu's belly survey says. <laughs> we got... <laughs> Miss, yes. you ever thought about where you'd like to make love in Hyrule? Oh, absolutely. All the time, all the time. <laughs> where in Hyrule would Zelda most like to make love? Well, chat like this before. Let's go with Gerudo Fortress again. Oh! I tell you right now, I'd, I'd watch that movie. <laughs> Show me Gerudo Fortress. <laughs> I, I would have liked to have seen that myself, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <y'all. laughs> <laughs> Sir, Trent, you need this one to stay alive. All the marbles. You guys need to do a clean sweep. Next three answers. You win the game. You head to fast money. You play for 50K. Fake money. Fake money. Where in Hyrule would Zelda most like to make love? Mm. The Lost Woods. (laughs) Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. (laughs) She's trying. 
trying is not usually not being lost in lovemaking is usually not a good thing, but that's how you do it, player. Uh, show me Lost Woods. All right, you guys got a chance to steal. This is for all the marbles, I believe, unless there happens to be one more question, which we will check. There's three answers on the board. You guys got time to confer. Ready. Oh, you're ready. Ready. Where in Hyrule would Zelda most like to make love? Things will get a little steamy over at Lake Hylia. Lake Hylia. If they get Lake Hylia, this is going to be for all the marbles. Some people like making love in water, I guess. Show me Lake Hylia. It's on the board. Where was our number two answer? What was our number two answer right there? Fairy Fountain. Our number four answer? Zora's Domain. Y'all, y'all, PSA. Water is not a good spot to make love. I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> not great. Zelda wouldn't want to do that. All right. Do we, can we just check real quick if we have one more set of questions on there? That it's just in case I did. No. No, no, no. No, no, Wait, We can't do that. All right. I need two players for fast money right over here. I need two players for fast money. Volunteer you guys yourselves. Yeah. I'm going to read a couple donations while we get this all organized. Yeah. Archer's number two fan donated $5. Please let the bald man know I don't know how I'm going to fall asleep tonight without our, 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 our and celebratory hands in the air. Ragnock donated $50. Lachlan donated $25. And Hangs donated $25. Thank you guys all so much. Uh, I might only have four questions left. I might have been an idiot. Archer Restream. There you go. Oh, boom, I got it. 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 No, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. All right, miss. What was your name again? Barb Toxic. Barb Toxic. <laughs> Heated. Woo. You know how fast money works? Yes. All right. We're ready. We need our, to get to a 200 points. Name a sport that Mario plays with friends. Tennis. Name a Mario Kart item you would not want to hit your car. Blue shell. Name a Mario boss besides Bowser. Uh, Mad Lad. Yeah, that's. If you could have a Mario power up in real life, what would it be? Uh, uh star. Name what is something that you would not want to receive from the Great Fairy. Um, her lust. Good answer. Okay, 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 okay. Good answer, good answer. Disagree. I think, you know what, I think, I think you're going to get some for that one. I think you're going to get some for that one. Drugs. Name, what is something you would not want to receive from the great fairy? And she said her lust, which I think one might be. It's good. I think that's good. Drugs. I think that's. I think. Is that it? I think the two one's good. Yeah. Two. Yeah. One. One is its own thing. Okay. All right. No. Stay right here. Stay right here. We're gonna get. We're just getting all these uh, answers potted. But do we have any more donations over there, sir? Uh, not currently. No. Well, this is awkward. We're currently sitting at $35,633. What are we currently at? $35,633. $35,633. We are $10,000 past where we were this time last year, ladies and gentlemen. We were well on our way to break Mario Master Coliseum record. We ready to go? All right. Name a sport that Mario plays with friends. You said? Tennis. Tennis. Yes. Survey said? Number one answer with 57 points. Name a Mario Kart item you would not want to hit your car. You said? Michelle. Survey said? Number one answer. 58 points. <laughs> Name a Mario boss besides Bowser. You said? Boom, boom. Mad lad, boom, boom. Survey said? 22 points. Number two answer. Oh. 
If you could have a Ma Mario power-up in real life, what would it be? You said... Survey said 24 points. Woo! Good answers. Good answers. What is something you would not want to receive from the great fairy? You said her lust. Her lust. Survey said what? our number two answer right there. 189 points. Your teammate only needs 11 points. Let's get them in here. <laughs> wow 11 points that was insane amazing feuding right there by that family <laughs> Dude, why are you all wet <laughs> why is everyone why do they come back wet <laughs> why is everyone come <laughs> do you know how fast money works sir yes sir <laughs> How hot is it out there? Not very. <laughs> Time's going to start when I read a question. Your partner got 189 points. You only need 11 points to win. Again, you can't have the same answer. We'll buzz you if you get the same answer. Don't worry, we'll let you answer all five. Name a sport that Mario plays with friends. Soccer. Name a Mario Kart item you would not want to hit your car. Blue shell. And Red shell. <laughs> Name a Mario boss besides Bowser. Bowser Jr. Oh. If you could have a Mario power-up in real life, what would it be? Feather. Name, uh, what is something you would not want to receive from the great fairy? Drugs. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just saying, if I... If I was in the market for some drugs, I definitely want the Great Fairies drugs. They're holding that sicky icky icky. Before before we before we do this, I do want to read my uh, the question that I forgot to put in because it was very very good. Uh, it was it was the other regular question. Name something that gets stuck in Mario's mustache. Does anyone have any guesses? Peach was your number one answer. Yes. Your num number two answer was mushroom. Number three answer, cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> number four, cheese. Number five, spaghetti. So that was the that was the one I forgot to put in. So I failed on that one. I'm sorry to do, to uh, deprive you guys of that. You only needed 11 points. You didn't need to do much. Your your partner really carried you. Sorry. What was what was the first one? Is name a sport Mario plays? I lost all my shit. Okay. Name, name a sport Mario plays with friends. You said soccer. Survey said eight points. Okay. Eight points. Name a Mario Kart item you would not want to hit your car. You said red shell. Survey said bl blue shell was number one, 58. Lightning, bullet bill, and banana peel were the next ones. <laughs> Name a Mario boss besides Bowser. You said Bowser Jr. Survey said. What? Birdo was number one with 41. Kamek, Wart, and Smithy after that. Wow. If you could have a Mario power-up in real life, what would it be? You said Feather. Survey said... Woo! <laughs> we got our winners, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Our fifth question, what is something you would not want to receive from the great fairy? You said drugs, survey said. Our number one answer was herpes. Herpes was our number one answer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is Family Feud. We are going to sing Lady Gaga. We just need to pull up all the lyrics on our phone and get Glitch Cat over here to lead us. Where did he go? When does this Sing real loud. We're gonna have to, you gotta, you gotta do a little music first. Yeah. Okay, it's coming up. I wanna hold them like they do in Texas, please. Born them let them live me, raise it, baby, stay with me. I love it, love the game, the tuition, play the cards, let's play the star. And after he's been hooked, I'll be the one that wanted his heart.
morning. Do it. Yeah, well, yeah. 